So I've shown Slib before and I just wanted to go over creating more of your own library. So what you can see here is I've set up a folder using the Victorian Kitbash 3D that I've used previously. And here I'm just going to go through all the assets now that they're textured since uh, Kitbash 3D have allowed or updated their models to be uh, with textures. So nothing really special here but I just figured it's good for you to go and see uh, me updating my library with uh, Slib browser. So really all that it entails is selecting the object that I want to add to the library. Uh, right now it's the tower. So changing and appending the name so that it matches what we're seeing which is Westminster Tower and I'm prefixing everything with the name Victorian and then you can add metadata with tags for whatever it is you want that you can search with your library. Right now since I'm doing different pieces but they're all Victorian I'm gonna have just the meta tag uh, Victorian and then I can go back into each individual piece and make it much more uh, transparent. So all you need to do is select the object um, and then basically hit export objects and then here you can see what it does is once you hit export object um, Slib browser actually brings it to the origin and freezes transformations um, and then if you want to make a, a thumbnail of the image all you have to do is have the object still selected select the element in the Slib browser and then do a thumbnail and then right click onto the thumbnail to append the image and what you can see here what I'm doing is creating uh, two folders basically I want the original folder with everything laid out in world space as how it came in with Kitbash 3D and then duplicating each element uh, like the cathedral and then zeroing it out because once I do the slib I still have the original object and that will basically be brought to origin and freeze transformations and lower the pivot point so that way I'll have two files what I got originally from kitbash and then what is new and then you know you can go up to modify if you want to freeze transformations I had some problems with some of the elements where there were some kind of uh, keyframes on some of the transformations. I'm not sure if that was uh, a bug. What I did um, this weekend is I actually upgraded as the browser. There was an upgrade, so I had version 2.0, and now I've upgraded to version 2. And what I'll do now is I'm just going to speed up the process, and I just want to show you how you just kind of systematically go through everything. It's really cookie cutter once you get used to doing the thumbnail, updating freeze transformations, making sure that you duplicate so you'll have the original world space element and then now your zeroed out element. Um, and I th hopefully what you'll see is afterwards what's great is this is a little mundane but you're going to have an actual library that you can go back to and use in any of your projects later instead of opening up one single Maya file which has all the assets and bringing you know elements out. So what I'll start doing here is I'll just speed up the uh, process in the clip. Um, it's really just doing the same process over and over again. Uh, but I did want to show you know the actual evolution of going through every single asset. It does take uh, a little bit of time, but um, once you've actually built everything, it'll really be worth it. Um, and it's just good to see the repetition of it all. You know, it is kind of a, a mindless uh, workflow of just redoing and redoing all the various assets. And I just try to make sure that I have it where I haven't missed an asset and get a relatively good preview and make sure everything's been set up. So I'll just let this play through and then we'll get caught up in a second.
So we're getting close to the end here. We just have the storefronts left. And now what you can see is we've got everything at the center pivot point. Then we've got the old file of everything laid out in world space. So I like to just keep both. And then here we have the whole folder of all the assets for uh, the Kitbash 3D Victorian. And now what I can do is I can bring this into any file.